hello everyone welcome back to my channel i know it's been a long time i've been in my a but i am definitely back okay so today i'm gonna try to figure out if this milk of magnesia really works for oily skin i've heard good things about it i've seen reviews on it and it seems like it works really well for others so we're about to see how it works for me and um you guys just keep watching i'm gonna test it out and then show you guys the rest of my foundation routine so keep watching Okay, so now that my eyes and brows are done, I'm going to see if this Milk of Magnesia really works. So I got the Philips Milk of Magnesia. You can get it from Walmart. I think it was like $4, no more than 4 Yeah, so everyone is saying that this works really well for oily skin. So we're about to find out. So I'm going to apply mine with the brush. And I'm going to put it in all of the places that I'm oily at, which is my nose and the cracks of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. And this stuff does not smell good at all. So we're gonna let that dry. It's supposed to get like really, um, like super dry. So we're gonna see how dry it really gets. And if it gets dry enough then I will know for sure that these work. Okay, so right now I feel my face getting really tight. So that means it's drying, which is a good thing. Um, It hasn't turned white yet. I usually see people turn white. Maybe it's because I have the wild cherry kind and not the regular, but it's still like getting really tight in these areas. Oh, and it's super dry. Yeah. Okay, so it's like super dry now. My face feels so tight. Like I have on one of those face masks. Like, it's really tight. Maybe it'll, you know, simmer down a little bit or settle a little bit once I put on my foundation. But I'm sure this will work because, y'all, it's so dry. Like, oh my God. So now I'm going to proceed with the rest of my foundation routine for my foundation i'll be using the makeup revolution conceal and define foundation this foundation is really good for dry skin for oily skin also and it comes on the stick and i think i like this the most about it it's not oily at all because my skin shines bright like a diamond it glows i don't sweat i glow so this foundation is really good for me so I'm just going to apply this. And I'm going to be using this brush to blend my foundation. I love hard brushes like this. It's not too hard, but it's good enough to blend. about this foundation is it dries super fast like I said it is for oily skin so that's expected but yeah this dries super fast y'all like I think I'm gonna have to add some more from the looks of it I would recommend cleaning your face completely before using this milk of magnesia because it looks like all the dirt and oil on my face is like peeling not peeling but it's kind of hard to explain can y'all see you see these parts yeah because when i watch other people's reviews like you can see it all over my shirt when i watch other people's reviews it does not do this to them I don't know. So 
So I'm gonna damp this sponge a little bit and add some more foundation to my face. See, you have to do this quick with this foundation because it dries so fast, oh my God. But if you got oily skin, that's really what you want. Something dry. Mm -hmm. Maybelline concealer. It doesn't really say which one it is, but it is by Maybelline Walmart. Okay, I'm just gonna put that under my eyes. On my chin. On my top of my lip. My nose and forehead. So all the places basically where I get oily at, I'm adding more product. It's crazy. And on my nose as well. So I like to let my concealer settle. So I'm going to let that dry just a tad bit before I blend it all out. And I am going to be using my um, Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to blend all of my concealer in. You wanna let some of your products dry and settle in if you have oily skin. That keeps you from being so oily throughout the day. So you're just gonna blend, 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 blend. I like to do under my eyes last because it's like the focal point. So I do that last. And another place I get like super oily at is on my eyebrows and I do not know why. I love this Maybelline concealer cause it's like, it's not too thick and it's not too water either. It's like, just right. So for my bronzer, I'm using the Black Opal Press Powder, and it is in the color Rich Mahogany. So I'm gonna go in with my Coastal Scents brush, and I'm gonna dip just a little bit, and go right here in this area. And I like to do my contour, not contour, but my bronzer in circular motion. Squeezing your face like this helps you get your jawline snatched a little bit more. And I just do the same thing on the opposite side. Circular motions. Another thing I like to do to snatch my contour is go in with my foundation right up under it. I'm gonna get my beauty blender and blend that in. touch it up okay as you can see it's snatched I do a lot of blending y'all for my foundation routine blending is key blend 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 next I'm gonna go in with my air spun powder this is gonna make me a little more dry and that's what I need I need to be dry dry so if I do get a little oily it's gonna be acceptable it's not gonna be too much the same place that I put my light concealer is where I'm going to put my powder. So I don't really bake. I rather just apply it 
and swift it away. Wherever I put that light concealer, that is where I'm putting my powder. I also like to go and snatch a little bit more under my contour. Like when I say my contour is gonna be snatched, like it already is snatched, but when I say snatched, I mean snatched, snatched. So after I'm done with my powder, I like to go back in just a little with my bronzer. So I be bronzed down, y'all. Like bronze, bronze. set my face with my NYX matte setting spray when I tell y'all I'm about to be dry like y'all do not know the struggle of how oily my skin is like so all of these dried out products and matte products are like very helpful for me okay and I also spray my face down like I have to go because it still gives you a little glow, but like a matte glow, if that makes sense. Next, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Highlight. This is the Trophy Wife. And I always like to apply my highlight after the setting spray. Because you want your face to be a little dewy or a little damp. So I'm not going to go all out with the highlight, but I am going to make it, you know, pop. So just to give myself a little glow. Since my eyes aren't really doing the most today, I need my rest of my face to do the most. <laughs> so next I'm just gonna go in with some liner and gloss. So like the same pencil that I usually use on my eyebrows, I use on my lips too, like it really doesn't matter. As long as it's brown, you know? So I like to press my lips together just so that liner won't look so liney, if that makes sense. Then I'm gonna go in with some lip, some clear lip gloss from the Beauty Supply Store. This is the Crystal Gloss Lip Gloss, okay? Ooh, Shea Butter Enriched, okay? I've been using this lip gloss for years. I'm not letting it go, ever, okay? So I'm just gonna apply a little of that. I'm just gonna apply a little but once you keep touching it up and fixing little mistakes you end up emptying the whole bottle on your lips and my face feels super dry like oh my god thank you so lastly but not least I'm gonna add some bottom mascara like today I was really just focusing on my face and not my eyes so I didn't do a lot of ma not mascara I didn't do a lot of eyeshadow I like my mascara to be visible. Like what's the point of wearing the product if you can't see it, you know? So, this is my finished go-to foundation routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, subscribe to my channel for more videos, more tutorials, all of that. It was nice doing makeup with you guys, but I gotta get up out of here. 
So I will see you guys next time. Peace. Mm -hmm.